Mr. Robinson. Our dear Heavenly Father, O Lord, we are present here in the council meeting on January the 7th, and we thank Thee, Lord, that we are able to enjoy uh, the many facilities that are being provided by our city and by those who have been elected to serve thee. We know, dear Heavenly Father, that, that a good government is a blessing unto the people. And we also fulfill thy will in so doing. If we, O oh Lord, engage in that which is true, that which is just, and that which is equitable or uh, for all concerned. Therefore, we know that to do a job well done is pleasing in that holy sight. We know the days in which we live, and we know many things that is brought unto us from the scriptures to tell us that the time will come in which the Father and the Son will both labor among the generations and nations of men to bring forth their kingdom in their due time. And we know that those who are fulfilling their roles and those who are uh, obedient unto thy holy will will be prospered continued and blessed in all things. Therefore, knowing this, we thank thee for the hope that you put before us, even in this new year in which we are living. So, we wish goodwill unto all and the hopes of that which will move all men and women into that which will solve their problems and bring about thy eternal kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, are there any additions to the agenda? Mayor. Yes. Can I, I got some other business I need to take care of after this. Can I be moved to the front of the agenda, please? Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. Or you didn't bring your kids. I did, and uh, the preparation ordinance. I got two. Um, had a request to add an executive session. Um, we will do it for non elected personnel. Um, we will do it after the police department and before citizens' comments. Do we know how long we're going to need? 15. regular meeting of 12-17-2013, um, approve appropriation ordinance 12-31-2013A in the amount of 48314 approve appropriation ordinance 0102-2014 in the amount of 10139 $10,139.15. Approve appropriation ordinance 0107-2014 in the amount of $45,492.04. And approve appropriation ordinance 12-26-2013 in the amount of 10851.68. Are there any questions or comments? Second. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries 4-0.
Chief? I just would like to press the permission to purchase tires from the Blazer. We had one of them that came off the rim during one of our snowstorms and ruined that tire. It's not repairable. And the other ones were just to the point where they need to be replaced. Um, s and tire, his price that he can order is actually cheaper than the government price. So there's a Kumo brand that would be, the uh, amount of the balance would be $680. Or the Nexon brand would be six hundred sixty-eight dollars more than balance. Which one would you rather really have? Well, I, <clears throat> I've had experience with Kumos and, and they've been good. I don't know anything about that Nexon brand, and it's only a difference of twelve dollars overall. So. Do we have to make a motion? Or just... mm -hmm. I'll make a motion. Mm -hmm. We'll buy for Kumo mm -hmm. Road Venture ATs. For $170 each, correct? Yeah. That's mount and mount from SMS tire. Second that Motion and second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4-0. The only other thing I've got is that we've got advertisements out for part-time. Um, we've shipped out a couple applications, one of them all the way to North Carolina, believe it or not. Um, but, so we're getting some interest, and, and I, I set the first, uh, with the papers, the first advertisement just for a couple weeks um, and kind of see where we're at. And if we wanted to extend it to get a full, few more applications, we will. If not, then we'll go with what we've got coming in. Okay, great. Anything else? That's it. I would like a motion for a 15-minute executive session to include council and mayor. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries for a citizen's comment. Mr. Schmidt. Evening. Evening, Mayor, Council members. Um, come to you tonight asking if uh, basically if we can use the minibus for the Boy Scouts on a trip to uh, what we call Trapper's Rendezvous. And it's an overnight thing, so they informed me that I had to ask for y'all's permission to use that for the weekend thing. Um, I have a flyer here if y'all wanted to look through that. It's solely up to y'all. Um, wanted to pass that around if you like 18 pages long. I didn't didn't think I wanted to make one for all y'all. Didn't oh. a lot of paper Where, to be. Where's it to? <laughs> it's over. Uh, it's about five, six, seven miles west of uh, Newton. And we go there Friday evening. Come back Sunday about noonish. And about oh, about six kids, four or five adults. We'll have one other vehicle with a trailer. With all their stuff, and then. What are the dates? Uh, it'd be the 17th uh, to the 19th. Of this month? Yes, ma'am. Does that conflict with anything else that bus? I don't know, he's got it scheduled. And, and check with yes, you didn't have any conflict at the time. It is, it's insured to be able to do that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the rec center uses it, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and he's a city employee, so. He's not doing it as a city no, employee, but so. as a scoutmaster for oh, Boy Scouts. Oh, but you don't have to have a bus license, driver's license? No, no, no not for that. No, it's, it's a smaller passenger bus. So all we do is give training, give them some classroom instruction, and since it's a uh, ADA bus, we have most most of the instructions is how to to handle ADA situations, wheelchairs, and the way the bus is set up is if someone else wanted to go on this trip, you know, we would allow them to go and. Uh, yeah, and get, we're just trying to cover everything that could come up, and then uh, Adam takes uh, takes uh, people out and, and lets them drive and make sure they can handle the bus and the backing and all that. So. Will your Boy Scouts be able to provide us with a certificate of liability coverage? 
No, are you sure uh, you don't have to have a passenger endorsement to drive? No. Yeah. yeah. It's, no. Just doesn't have enough. You have to. It's, just, have it's to purposely. It's purposely. Just to cover us. Seating number is small enough. You don't have to do that. So. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but if they could provide us with one, it just gives us an additional oh. level of protection. Okay. That I'd have to ask, ma'am. I don't know okay. on that. Uh, if you could check on it and see if, yes, if the council agrees to do it, then and if you can agree, we'd like it. And if not, we'll deal without it. Yes, ma'am. I'll say so I'd make a motion to allow you use the bus for the, for the evening of the 17th to the 19th of January for the Boy Scouts. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Yep. I guess since the chief isn't here, then we will deal with this item at the next meeting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he just mentioned that it was. He need to remove Dalton, but he didn't say if it was because he hasn't attended anything or if he's moved or so I don't know the reason why. Uh, we'll just move that to old business and okay. carry it over to the next meeting. Um, John. Um, we have penalties for USD three fifty for the last billing. They've never not gotten their bill paid on time. But um, this last time it wasn't paid on time, and the penalties for all the accounts came up to eight hundred and thirty-seven dollars and thirty cents. Um, normally, we don't bring those penalties to you, but since it's a tax-based entity and it's the same tax base paying, that would be like double dipping or double whammy to the taxpayer. So, you know, I don't have the authority to do it on my own, so I need to bring it to you to see if we can take those penalties off. How come they didn't pay the bill on time? I don't know that information. It's, we've got a board treasurer who was also the elementary secretary, <coughs> who was also a part-time bus driver, and occasionally things slip through the crack. We work really hard to make sure that they don't, but occasionally they do. We didn't approve any penalties by us not getting ours paid, right? It was that time the budget, eight hundred thirty-seven dollars. So. <coughs> this is this is their total penalties on. So they have so many accounts. Mm -hmm. That's what the penalties added up to. Right. It didn't bother you not having that money. No, I mean later. normally they. No, no, it didn't. We didn't have a problem with cash flow or anything right. like that. No. <coughs> I'm waiting. I need a motion now. So moved. Oh, no, I don't know if I should participate in this. Um, since you don't have a vote. Okay. Your Is there a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 4-0. I mean, is that a pretty regular deal, though? No, no and it's never happened before that I know of. Okay. And we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay, and then the only other thing I had was just um, to let you know our audit dates have been set with um, Adams Brown Bear involved to be February 13th and 14th. Um, normally that doesn't involve you guys too much. I don't know, Kevin, does she ever talk to you as the council president? I know no, she'll probably talk to you a little bit. Okay. Um, Jonna has been awarded a scholarship to attend the international... Help me out, Jonna. It's... It's an international clerks conference, basically, is what it boils down to. It's in Milwaukee. It's in May. Um, she plans on using her vacation time to attend. The scholarship should cover all of her expenses. Except for if I want to pick up any extra classes other than the conference, that I'll do that on my own. That will, it should not cost the city anything. So, but I 
think this is a, a good training opportunity for her, and I'm tickled that she got the scholarship. That's not going to cost the city anything. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. Mel. Um, I don't have anything for council. Um, what's this? What are we doing about this? Okay. That, uh, I'm meeting with Rod tomorrow on that. I've, since the last meeting, I've had to take up some vacation to get rid of it, so I'm back, and so I'm getting caught up on things, so that's, that'll be addressed. Okay. How come, how come if this all went down in October, how come, I mean, nothing's been done if she's yeah. rattling off ordinances and we're not getting um, anything done? But to say that nothing's been done is not necessarily correct. She may not have seen anything done over there as far as the, the change in the building, but I have been in contact with the owners. I gave them the opportunity to do something on it, and they, you know, didn't respond. So I did did confront them on, on two different occasions to get get things taken care of. The police had put traps traps over there to address the animal problem, and they checked them, and they all they were catching. In fact, they put out some of their own traps. Adam gave the permission to put traps out, and they were basically all they were catching with cats. So we have done something, but you know that this is the the next thing, and uh, it was brought up that I'm going to get with Rod, and we're going to address you know because we have other structures in town that just we're, we're not going to just pick on one one house. So well, I understand that, but is there some kind of guideline from like when somebody turns something in like this to where? The action that we do it in. Well, I, I told you what I did, I, and, and like I say, and okay, so I give them two weeks, three weeks, a month to get something done. Give them another call; they don't do anything. The the thing we've tried to do, and if we need to change, we can do it. Well, I'm just I, I try, I try and I try and give people a, a chance to do something before we send them an official letter. I, I I work with them as far as that goes, and give them a chance because once we start the official process, and the, the the clocks are ticking and. and if we want to change that, I, like I say, I try and work with people. And if we don't want to do that, then we'll just, as soon as we get it, we'll send them a letter and that'll be it. Well, no, I mean, there has to be something in there. I mean, I just didn't know if there was some kind of, you know, the complaint comes we in. Get, we we them, get a complaint. We talk to them and they have two weeks to, to get rid of this. I work with people. I, I usually, what I tell people, I say, you know, what what can you do? When can you, they say, well, you need to do, I say, you need to do something. And then they say, well, I'll, I'll have it done in, in, in a couple months. And I said, no, that's not going to work. You give me a time that, that will work for you, and we'll see if we can deal with it. Okay. They didn't follow through, and, you know, they sent the follow-up letter. So. Okay. Where, where are we at on the, the one on the square? Though? Same, same, same thing. Deal. Yeah. Okay. I, talked to, I did talk to Rod today on that, so we're, he still got stuff in there, and he just says, just go. So. So but then it's just a case of getting it scheduled with demo company. Yes. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is get the uh, the asbestos checked out and get okay. a schedule with Stone to get it down. So it, he he hasn't he's got anything in there. It's it's his loss. Have we contacted the asbestos company yet? No, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm going to get them scheduled to get that should be up here within a week to, to get it done. So I don't know. Okay, under new business, the request for proposal, I did not get a chance to get it drafted, so I'm just going to pull that off for now. Um, I'm assuming we still want to do a sealed bid on this for the trash services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can we? just put an ad in the paper that says the city is accepting proposals for trash collection services? Yeah, normally with a proposal you'll have um, certain stipulations so you're um, comparing apples to apples. Okay. But and unless we know to how to write those stipulations, I'm not sure. Okay. And the bid can't, I mean the, the ad in the paper can simply say go to the website or come in here and pick up the bid specs. Okay. But um, I'll work with you on this okay. if we can't get that accomplished. Can we go ahead and approve to go ahead and get that done? Because I mean we're gonna be that's yeah. up in February, correct? March. March. 
March, I think March 1st, it's up, or March 31st? Well, that's a good question. No, I think it's 31st, I think, isn't it? Actually, I thought it was February. See, I thought it was, I thought it was in February or the middle of February, and if it is, that's going to shorten our time frame drastically. Yeah, we could draft some guidelines right now for you and John. Yeah, questions? that's fine. I mean, I just, it, I've got a copy of one from a municipality in California that is for their recyclables that I was going to take and modify. I just haven't had time. Uh, 10 15 2000 will you sign that what does that mean that's just the code the, the department that will be taking out of oh. Oh, look, when were the most? september do you, do you think you lost that or they did no i talked to them they at the time the building was going out there was something going on believe it didn't get things turned in, so. And we didn't pay them September, October, and November? <coughs> no, it was just this one section of things that, that we're going to to address that in the next morning, so yeah. contracts so that doesn't happen. Oh, okay. If it isn't submitted within a certain amount of time, then we won't get any information again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's say 17th of February? Uh -huh. What I thought. So uh, we need to come up with something tonight, boys and girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This next week will be 30 days. Do we have to give a certain amount of time for the submittal? Yeah, but I mean, I think if we can get it drafted and get it out in, or get it into the paper the 15th and have them due back in by the first meeting in February, because we've gotten stuff from both, at least two vendors already, so it's just going to be a matter of them sharpening. They've already well. sent us the bids? Not official bids. They've sent us information okay. that John has taken and put away. Okay. So. Um, okay, so give that back to you before I lose it. I better just put it away before I lose it. Okay, so we're going to want residential rates. Residential picked up once a week. Yes, I I prefer it in the alley. Can yeah, I want to I want to populate the alley. I don't want a street store getting any more than what public traffic is. You can fix the valleys a whole lot cheaper. Yeah, where, where yeah, I guess stay where it's possible. I know there's a lot of places that don't have an alley and it has to be in the street. Where there's an existing alley. Yeah, where there's an existing alley. However, it has to legally stated. Um, what are you going to do about dumpsters? They're going to furnish them work. That's up to them. I mean. But uh, price wise, I mean. Who furnishes dumpsters now? Everybody furnishes it their own. Okay. As far as trash cans, right. residential. residential. If somebody yes. wants a, a dumpster, I think Donna calls out and they put a dumpster out and then she charges for whatever size dumpster that is. Usually it's commercial, but every once in a while we'll be a resident who's doing some repairs or something, and they'll have one for a short period of time. We own our home. Or I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's so yeah. Nice. No, I think Pat or Terry brought mine. I said, I think they brought ours too. Yeah, I bought mine. Mm -hmm. I've had to repair it. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't get repaired. Okay, how long a term of contract do you want to make this for? Uh, 
three years, five years, one year? Three. Mm -hmm. They're going to they're going to state in there the fuel adjustment will change probably mm -hmm. the price of fuel. No. Or do you want to shorten it up to a year? Do you guys want to do this again in a year? It doesn't matter me. I won't be here. I, I think if you, to get a good bid, I think you need to make it at least three, if not five, because otherwise you're just. There's I mean, you won't want to do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you get good bids from. Do you remember how many years we did? Four? This was a t this last one was a ten year lease or ten year contract. Uh, I'd say do a three or five at least. I mean, I wouldn't go much any longer than five. But. How about three with an option for two one year renewals? Not a mutual agreement. Yes. With the right to refuse any and all bids. <laughs> and we do not have to take the lowest bid. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, we'll have to decide something at first meeting in February. Yeah, we'll have them due that day. Or call a different, them. call a separate meeting. Yeah, now we'll have them do that night, and um, or do that day by 5 p.m. Are you going to put something, you know, something in that contract due to raise the rates, where somebody couldn't blow all it in six months or raise the rates on? It? Yeah, I'll have to look through what I've got and see if there's wording in there that'll handle that. If not, I'll find it. Do you want a copy of mm -hmm. that one there? To yeah, that would probably be helpful. I think the way it states in here is that they would have to have council approval or something to raise it. I think we raise the rates at least once since I've been there, if not twice. When the contract was originally written, it was nine seventy five a month for residential, and I think it's up to fifteen. And is the city going to continue to build? Well, and that's another thing that we need to act, we need to determine is if if we want to give them the option to bill or if we want to be responsible for it. Mm -hmm. and we need a dollar. Dollar and a half. I think it's a dollar for doing the billing. But it's actually set up to go on the utility bill, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. stipulation in there that if, if we're doing the billing and they're billing us, um, I think we ought to get a little more than a dollar because they're guaranteed they're guaranteed all their money. There's no late, no yeah. nothing. I mean, no no other business can you do that in. Yeah, but without yeah. passing it on the taxpayer. That's right. So, I mean, I think I think we ought to, there ought to be a little more in it for us if we're doing the billing and yeah. doing the billing. Or we could state in there that if we don't collect it, we don't pay it. Too. That'd be a new, That's going to be the book works. You're going to add additional book work. Yeah, um, that'd, that'd be a bookkeeper's nightmare. I just say we up the fee that comes back to the city on that. Otherwise, yeah. if they don't want to pay that, then they can take okay. on the billing themselves. Or anything else? Don't they get don't they get like three percent for being run up to the bank and let the bank do that? It's it's, it's gonna going depend on volume. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's a volume based deal. If to do that. I the higher the volume, the less percent. So. You mean the bank doing the building for yes. No. 
No, just just a percentage of what the deal or what it costs for the half like the bank to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a percentage based deal. Everybody's a little different. And it's kind of depend on the amount of dollars you're talking. Yeah, it probably would have hurt our feelings if we didn't have that going on. <laughs> and getting the phone calls and stuff. You know. um, they did call, it was too cold for them to run Monday, so it'll end up being a day late this week. So you might have some people speaking to you, I don't know. Oh, I can too. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, um, hang on. Um, new business for the next meeting, or not for the next meeting, we are going to be doing a two-hour workshop to talk about the electrical utility before the meeting starts on February 4th. So we'll start at 5. Electric utility. Rate. Not the rates we need to talk about linemen and retention alignment and what we're going to do. Okay. That, I would for a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.